Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about print editions and how to um, pull a print and ink up your print plate that we made in our last session. Uh, number one, you're going to need to prepare your printing paper looking like this. You're going to need four pieces of six by nine paper. You're going to need to label them with the title, the edition number, and your name. Then in the next session, we'll get colored paper cut it in half so we have two pieces. We're going to label that as our fifth print and then we're going to label one for a special edition that we'll make. So today before we even get started with our ink and our printing and rolling the ink and all that, we're going to prepare our paper. It should look like this. Title, edition numbers, name or signature. And you're going to have five pieces of paper so this bottom number is um, how many prints are in the full edition. The top number is which print in the edition it is. So this is the first print out of five prints. Second print out of five prints. Third print out of five. Fourth print out of five. Fifth print out of five. You get the idea. So you're going to label all your papers and have them sitting next to you for when um, the time comes that you make them. Okay. In order to get started on our printing, what you're going to need to do is get these supplies. A brayer. The brayer is a, a rubber roller here and a nice handle that you can uh, hold on to. Make sure to keep that handle clean so you don't get your hands dirty. You're also going to need an inking tray. This is our inking tray. Um, and you can see it has a hook here that can actually sit on the edge of your table so that as you're rolling your brayer it doesn't roll away from you. I'm going to set mine right here in the view of my camera so you can actually see it. Um, and then you're going to need some ink for your tray. So this is our printing ink. You're going to just unscrew the cap, screw on a little ball, a blob of ink, maybe about a quarter size ink, ball or blob of ink. And then you're going to take your brayer and start rolling the ink. You're going to take it and you're going to roll it the same direction. And you want to start at one edge and kind of roll it the same direction. You can kind of see these lines in the ink here. That's good. That's what we want it to look like. And then you can start rolling it from the other direction, from right to left. So you kind of get the whole tray full of ink. Okay. The idea is you want to get the, the brayer full of ink from one side to the other. You don't want to have so much ink that it's like globby and sticking all over the place, but you don't want so little ink that it's too thin. It should be right when it makes this sound. You can kind of hear that faint crackling sound. That's when the paint has the right viscosity and it kind of is sticky and it's all along the tray evenly. Then you're going to take your print plate and you're going to roll your brayer across the print plate please have a little piece of scrap paper underneath your print so that you don't get too much ink on the table. Then hold your print plate down and roll from one edge to the other and then start again roll from one edge to the other and you're going to kind of do that all the way along your print plate. Then you're going to have to go back and get some more ink on your brayer. Okay, and you're going to have to probably fill your brayer up more than once as you're inking your tray or inking your print plate. Okay, so I'm going to get my, and you might have to again fill it up once in a while. So you might have to put a new little blob of ink on and kind of re roll things so that you can continue. And it is really important that you roll your brayer kind of the same direction quite a few times. If you just roll back and forth like this, you're only going to get ink on the bottom portion of the brayer and you won't have any on the top. So you really do want to roll it one direction, lift it up, roll it the same direction so that you're getting ink all the way around the brayer. All right, I'm going to kind of finish this off, roll on this edge. And you do want to roll on your print plates the same direction each time. And I've got this little dent on here, so I'm going to kind of just squish the ink in there because I know that that dent is there. But you really you want to have the plate fully inked. Try not to miss any places. 
and if you get a little bit on your finger you can wipe that on your scrap paper here so that you don't have that um, on your shirt or on your hands as you proceed then take your inked up print plate and you're going to use your print paper with the name pointing up because that's going to be the back you're going to set it on top of your print plate and it's essential that you set it on top so that as you're rubbing it with the heel of your hand you get um, you can get a nice even pressure if you've got it flipped around the other way the print plate is too heavy and thick and you can't push through it um, properly so make sure that you have your paper on top then take the heel of your hand and rub it back and forth and you really want to press firmly on your paper but you don't want to move the paper too much. You don't want to be like sliding it around. You want to hold it down with your other hand, okay? So that you're not smearing the ink around and you're not moving the paper too much. Things that kids always do wrong is they pound on the print plate like this. And then you get little dots all over your print plate, little black dots, and you don't you don't have the nice smooth even print. So make sure you're using the heel of your hand and you're pushing down evenly all over once you get the print plate smoothed down and you've used some good pressure then you take your finger and just peel off the edge and then hold the plate down as you peel the paper back and peel that paper all the way off now this is a reasonable print. It could have been better. Um, and now we'll take the opportunity to talk about quality of prints. Now here's my print plate. I can take this and continue making prints with it. Um, and I, at this point I could make my second print, my third print, and my fourth print. And you can take the first one and put it in the drying rack. Okay. At the end we don't even need to wash our print plates off because we'll use them next week as well for our special edition. So um, I'm going to set mine aside and we'll talk about print quality. Now some things about print quality are that you want to have nice even thickness of paint or ink on your tray so that when you print it you've got a nice even thickness of black ink. Now if you look at these kind of three prints here I'm going to set this one here that we just did and say this area right here is printed really nice. It's dark, it's black, it's got a nice surface texture to it. Here the lines are nice and clean. Some things that are mm, not so desirable about this is this little spot I missed. This little spot I missed. And maybe right up here where the ink squished into the line of my beak. Here's another older one. Um, from a different session and you can see on this one I kind of did a really good job rolling my ink right here and the quality of the ink pressing and printing is really great in this section but right here not enough ink or I didn't print and push hard enough with the heel of my hand and you can see right here I totally didn't get any ink okay and there's none, none at all and that's also a poor quality this one is is pretty reasonable as well the lines are really good on this one all the lines are nice and clean um, the ink is pretty darn good here's the here could have been better but for the most part this is a pretty pretty solid quality of print so today what you're gonna do is you are going to make sure all your papers are labeled with your title edition number and name roll your blob of ink onto your onto your tray with your brayer use your brayer to ink up your print plate then lay your paper on top of your print plate and then transfer the image by rubbing the paper with the heel of your hand okay once you've got all that done put your stuff um, li carefully lift your paper off and put it into the drying rack and then repeat steps three through seven four more times so you've got your four white pieces of paper and then next week we'll start our one colored piece of paper and our special edition okay and that concludes how to make a print um, an intaglio print 